In this video, I'll talk about the 11 most common mistakes with the Instax Mini 11. The first one is inserting the batteries in the wrong orientation. If you have the batteries inserted correctly, once you turn the camera, this light will light up. In order to use the camera, this light needs to be on. If the lights are blinking, it means the batteries are too weak and you need to put new batteries in. The second common mistake is to forget to eject the dark side. So this is a brand new film cartridge. And the first thing that you see is the dark side, which is just a piece of uh, black uh, plastic. Underneath of this dark slide is your film. So you can't just have the film exposed like this because as you would put it in the camera, it would get exposed and this first film would be ruined. So after you put a fresh cartridge of film in the camera, you line the yellow dots right here. You put it in, you gotta turn on the camera and press the shutter. The third common problem is touching the lens while you're trying to take pictures. So if you touch the lens too much, the light will come off and now you can't even take a picture. But even if you touch the lens a little bit and take a picture, the picture will have dark edges on the top and the bottom. While taking this picture, I deliberately touch the lens and you can see black bars on the top and the bottom of the picture. The fourth common mistake is covering the light and flash sensors while taking a picture. So for example, taking pictures like this, these two sensors are really important for the camera to determine the right exposure. So if you cover them up, you will probably get overexposed images. Here's the selfie I took where everything is fine. And here's a selfie where it covered the flash sensor. You can see that the one with the flash sensor cover, it's highly overexposed. The fifth mistake is covering the flash while taking a picture. I think it's much harder to do this uh, than covering the light sensors because the flash is on the same side as uh, the shutter release, but it's still possible. So make sure you don't do this because if you cover the flash, your pictures might be uh, too dark. Again, here's a selfie where everything is fine. And here's a selfie where I cover the flash. This one is significantly darker. The next mistake is getting too close without using the selfie function. If I want to take pictures at very close range, I have to turn on the selfie function. To do so, you simply pull out the lens. The next mistake is the opposite of the previous one. And that is to leave the selfie function on when you're taking normal pictures. So if I'm taking pictures at, let's say, a landscape or people far away, I don't want to have the selfie function on. So this can happen pretty easily because you take a selfie of yourself, so you pull out the lens, and then you go and take a picture of a landscape, and you leave the selfie function on. So to turn off the selfie function, you have to essentially turn off the camera and then turn it back on. And when it pops back out, it won't have the selfie function turned on. The eighth most common mistake is to take pictures with the Instax camera when it's just too dark outside. Um, the Instax camera is a lot of fun, but they just can't take pictures when it's really dark. They're just not built for that, especially not this one. The Instax Mini 90 has a bulb function, so you can take some pictures at night. But if you try to take a picture of something dark outside, uh, something that's far away and the flash can't reach your subject, let's say like a night street, you most likely get just uh, dark pictures. Here I tried to take a picture of city at night, and the Instax picture is essentially completely black with a couple uh, bright spots. And on the left here, I'll show you what it looks like if you take a picture with a modern iPhone. The next common mistake is to take pictures with the Instax camera when it's too bright outside. And this is really confusing to a lot of people because generally the more light you have, the better the pictures you get. But unfortunately, this is a common problem for most of the Instax cameras. They can't handle too much light. And the reason why is because the film is pretty sensitive at ISO 800. The aperture is uh, pretty fixed, I think, on this camera and the maximum shutter speed is only 1 400th of a second. So in comparison for iPhone, I think the maximum shutter speed on the iPhone is like 1 16,000 or something like that. So the iPhone can handle pretty much any light situation, but the Instax camera can't. So the best thing to do is probably just not take pictures when it's too bright outside because they're gonna look washed out. But if you really, really want to take a picture, you can try to experiment a little bit and use sunglasses to cover your lens to see if you can kind of tame the light a little bit down. So what you can do is uh, take sunglasses, put them over the lens like this, and then take a picture. While you're doing this, try to avoid touching the lens and also don't cover the light sensors. If you want to see more about the sunglasses idea, you can watch my uh, video on the Instax Mini 8 with the sunglasses, or let me know in the comments and I'll uh, make a special video just for the Instax Mini 11 with the sunglasses and see how it works. The 10th common mistake is to open the film door before all the uh, film is used up. So here, let's say you open the film door, if you take it out and you still see film inside like this, that's this uh, purplish color, that means you didn't use up all the film and this film is now wasted. While the first sheet of film is certainly wasted, if there's more than one sheet in the cartridge still left over, 
the sheets behind this might still be okay because the front sheet will protect the, uh, the rest of them. And the last common mistake is not to pay attention to the film counter. So once you load the film, this will jump to 10 and every time you take a picture, it will decrease by one. So once all the film is used up, you will see zero. So one thing you don't want to do is have your friends all set up perfectly. You see a perfect moment, take a picture and then nothing comes out. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and check out my other videos. I have lots of other videos posted about how to use the Instax cameras anywhere from the Instax Mini 11 all the way to the Instax Mini Wide.